Hello and good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Marathi's Dark Eldar. Eldar. El I, I think I said that again with like the high elves. I said the high uh, the Eldar. The oh, whatever. But yeah, we are playing the Mortal Kombat campaign again, and we shall be dealing with this stupid, like nomads, whatever they're called, roaming army, because they are vexing to the point of unbelievable comprehension. Which is definitely interesting because they have a very sneaky army. Because they have the Death Runners and they also have the Nasty Skulkers, and then they also have a lot of Forest Goblin Spiders, which is definitely fun with these lovely off themed armies. But they can be vexing because you like to run away all the time. So I am going to fight you. Yeah, it's not a big surprise. A lot of Death Runners. So they could be a serious issue to my army. But I have my War Hydra, so I'll just roll them all up. Tactical Retreat. I said Fight Battle. That's not a retreat, you silly person. Silly, silly person, you. I want to see if it's that really cool map. Marathi commands you. Fight. So it's going to be a bit more vexing. Rip. Okay, so we're in this battle. And I'm just going to do a little few scouting missions over here. You seem to be coming to me nicely. And yeah, just see if I can try and get them to waste their concealer bombs as well. Yeah, there's the Zephyr runners. Just back off a second. Don't want to take too much damage. A tiny bit of damage, but okay, taking a bit more Going. damage. Let's just replete it a bit structure. slightly. Alright, I think it's time for us to turn around now slightly. Um, what? What are my archers doing? I would like to zoom down to see what they're doing, but. I'm kind of confused by that. That's a bit weird. <laughs> I tell them to shoot at the nasty skulkers and they all just bunch up into a big ball of them. That silly, silly idiot. Let's just move my archers around to come to this flank. Move over here a little bit. They seem to be bunching up nicely. And I put my um, dark shards, my shades at the side because they're a bit more better in uh, melee combat, uh, combat this. I'm going to use the flanks as well. If I can brace in time. Following orders. We are ready. Tread spears. Yeah, I'm opening fire now. Great. And we actually have a bit of. Oh, I thought we had a bit of shade. Zoom in. My mouse is kind of my previous mouse kind of broke, and I was unable to use my. Um, I am unable to use my scrolling wheel on this one I'm using right now, but I wasn't able to use my mouse at all in my previous one, so it's kind of a bit mm, not so great. Right, it's time for my hard. I just deal with these um, forest spiders. Keep on pulling forwards, you'll get through there somehow. Blood will flow. Make them bleed. Doing quite well. Let's try and get some more damage on these guys. And actually, let's just dive in. Except for the assassin, the assassin can dive in over here. Let's try and get a red charge over here. And you guys, from all these guys to the ground. We are ready. These dark shards we have to see as well, do You can shoot down this hill, that'd be great. It's a shame I really can't do it, which is vexing. Yep, got my murder surprise, which is good. Shoot over here if you can. Shades, that'd be really helpful. Yeah, if you could just deal with these guys, I actually need to change your formation slightly. Let's be done. You can chase out the, after the archers, that'd be helpful. And just to help slow them down, just to uh, mystify my asthma. Nice charge over here, she'll be able to deal with him. 
ready. Battle ready. Slash kill. Kill them. Faruqi, forward. Don't see anyone else to shoot out over here. Slaughter them. Draw it then. Bleak sword. Cold blooded killer. You play over here with Desmond as living with his tears worth me. Break out of combat and then just set fire to some of these dudes. Yeah, the Lord dead. Are you over here in these combats? Yep, yeah, I should be out of combat in a minute now. Probably in some nice terror, which is good. Deal with these guys over here though. If I can't catch up with them. Pull forwards into here. And no can't fist by the asthma. Slug it down. Nice. Uh, let's see, can I have my, I can get my flames on my lovely what I kind of out of range. Dark rider you guys can chase after these guys. I'm just gonna do some slight chasing after the people. Just because I kinda need to, because these guys are gonna come back. Especially these goblin forest fighters. <laughs> I just realized quite something quite funny. His name is Zogoth. <laughs> Which is their sort of way of saying F off. <laughs> Kind of funny. Okay, so we are in a Chaos Rebellion, and yeah, I would like—I I don't know why I was even trying to do it then, but I was trying to zoom in, but sadly I wasn't able to because my scrolling wheel on my mouse is broken. So it's all right. I'm getting a new controller, like coming in through Amazon, like next day delivery right now as we speak. So it's all fine and dandy. But yeah, so we have ourselves a rebellion. A rebellion, obviously it's chaos, so it makes logical sense. And I got some of uh, my dark shards just to doing a little bit of a uh, flanking maneuver. Because I could actually potentially shoot this uh, sorcerer in the back, which would be really handy. Oh, damn it, I lost my, ch uh, lost my timing for one second and I've already lost one of my units. Jesus. Alright, I need to target some of their men. Alright, let's just charge in a little bit. And I'm also should be off uh, uh, super fast forward mode. Yeah, that's better. Let's move around with my witches and my assassins. Dark shards are coming up too, which is going to be good. And let's get myself a nice bit of shades right here. Come on, try that. That'd be a good spot. For Ooh, no, bad, 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 bad. bad. I lose my uh, uh, micro management. Jesus, for one second. Yeah, you go one way and you go the other way. That would help in that situation. Uh, deal with those guys over there. See, now you're chasing after that one guy. These guys can never go and help but the other guys. Oh, good. Those knights came back around. I thought they were going to have a moment where they have a silly situation. Deal with their lord. Deal with their lord. And mystifying Mazma on the Chaos Warriors. Let's try and move around as well. Yeah, those guys will help out. That situation over there. I should have steel, life steel. Oh no, I only have one life steel per game. All right, let's just reduce their uh, stats a little bit. That should do a massive breaking. Yep, that was it. That's how, and that's how the cookie crumbles. Just try and shoot them down with your arm facing missile. You're probably not going to do that much damage, but it's better than nothing. Man, it takes so long for these guys to want to fire. Thank you. Oh, it's good these guys are stuck at the back and he's 
because he's in a routing stance, he's having to melee them to get out. Interesting. But I don't know. See, I want to actually zoom in to see if they're actually taking damage. Because they have to. He's got stuck on him. Yeah, they actually are just damaging me because of that. No, that's a vexing. Well, that things just, just happen. I guess. Yep. And let's just slow some these guys down so we can uh, put them down a bit more. Better. I hope I haven't lost my Dark Riders because they were also a unit I had from the start of the game. Ooh, yeah, I think I would. Unless I can get the replenishments, which I probably would definitely need. Literally, that that, that unit died so quickly. It's it's quite those black knight, those dark knight, those chaos knights are painful. Lose micro management for one second of those dark shards. And, Saying them, I haven't lost many dark shards, I just lost hit points on the unit, rather than actual models, which was pretty good. If I had a healing spell, that would be really helpful, but Dark Elves, I don't have healing spells, other than Life Leech, which only affects the Lord anyway, so... Oh, let's see, have I lost my Dark Knights? I, from the shadows. Whew, I haven't actually, that's good. I really did help out then. Ooh, I can get a cell effect. Hmm... Do I want Seraphet though? Getting Seraphet would be handy. But do I really need it? That's the question. And also, does this lock anything off? It does. So I go through Inside Us, Insidious, I think. And then there's Tyrannicus. Tyrannicus. Oh, whatever. Okay, so we have got ourselves a attack, and I would still like to zoom in a lot of the times, but Pushing it's failing. Forward, I'm just going to try and like, dodge and weave a tiny bit, but it's alright, it's doing good. Taking a small amount of damage, but yeah, it's fine. Dark Need to make sure I don't get caught up in any, anything I don't want to. They're punching up nicely. I like it. And how's my lord doing in here? Ooh. This might not be good. I might already break leadership already. Ooh, not good. Speaking of that uh, stupid micro management, see some arrows over here. Yeah, if I can move around here and get into their rears, that'd be really helpful. Yep, sending both my archers over here to deal with these guys. My lord is losing combat, but she's not broken, which is good. I could even try and get some arrows over there as well, but for now... Hmm, I could take over the lord because she has no shield, so I might do that. But this is actually doing alright. I've broken, but I might come back. No, nah, they've fully broken. I'm gonna get these guys out now. How is she taking damage? Not much. So I might just fire over here then instead. How's my lord doing? Not bad. She's not taking as much damage as I thought, so that's not bad. Right, charge you now. Because I'm starting to hold my lines very well. Fire over here. Right, there's a big bunch of them. And one over here as well. See, my armor facing missiles should really help these combats over here. And if I can get some arrow support over here, it would help my Dreadlord get out of this combat. If I can... No, I'm not going to get grab him. I need one of you to, to step backwards. The 
If I can fight through these guys and then get them to rout, I can get rid of them. And then I can come around for a rear charge over here on these knights. How are these guys doing? Right, you move away. Can you move away? No mercy! Yep, merciful pal. Mur a murder murderous paradise oh, is coming up, this is good. Right now I see a recharge over here. It's not fully in my favour, but I'm not doing bad either. Yeah, uh, do that rear charge over there now. That should break that leadership up. Dark sharks. Suffering for all. I can just get her to my Dreadnought Lord just to get into those level sea guards to shut them down. That'd be really helpful. Yep, I broke that up. Move around here. Get rid of stop them. And chase after them. And spears as well. Mm. Sadly, my Dread, my Dark Shards weren't able to do that much because the level sea guards kind of shut them down. But over here, my Dread Lord will, is having a final time just cutting through these guys. Which isn't that bad. Let's see, where's my uh, my guys over here? Miles away. Same over here. Don't need you guys all the way over there. I don't know how she was able to get so many kills, surprisingly, but oh well. Yeah, I'm able to hold up like, quite over here quite well, actually, but I'm probably going to break my leadership up. But she's able to kill a lot though. Oh, I say a lot, she didn't kill as many as her for some reason. But oh well. But yeah, surprisingly also a lot of uh, not many kills over here as well actually. Suffering for all by Dracula. See. No one's routed either, so I mean, come back from routing on my map, so everyone here is everyone here. Visions of destruction. Yeah, my lord's routing. He might die with that archer fire. Back. But, oh well, mass break as well. Except for one lord, but... Don't know where he is, he's routing now as well. Close to feet, not bad. I might not have, lo I might have lost... No, I might not have lost my entire army though, because they might run away. She might run away. And then they might not have the movement to chase after me and fight me because it just came from sea, so maybe. But yeah, for her, forget a hundred down. If she had like armor piercing missile damage, because I could probably explain it. And also try to think like, where did she get her arcs of fire to be able to hit the enemy? Hmm. It'd be kind of funny if like a hundred and a hundred and ten kills, but oh, they were all just their high elves. <laughs> hmm. She probably just did a legless. <laughs> Somehow just. Yeah, I hit them. Don't know how, but I did. <laughs> yeah, as I thought. Yep, yeah, not able to chase after me. So basically, that fight was kind of wasted. Because now she's on my land. She's taken a bit of damage from that. The moon sh uh, Moonshard might be able to replenish a little bit. Might be able to. I don't know. Because it was fought on this turn. Now it's the end of the turn. Oh, right, now we're yeah, at the end of the next turn. They replenish. Because let me see. We are displeased. No, that's not all I wanted. I wanted the moon shard. Oh no, so that's still a little bit damaged, but the I can then just do this. Oh look, hello. I can att attack you now and win. Noble of Nagaroth. I could get there and... traitors meet your doom. Hmm. The sea dragon cloak. That seems cool as hell. And also very pirate-esque themed as well. Because, well, Sea Dragon. <laughs> and because there is a there is like an actual faction which has like all pirate-esque themed Dark Elves in it. And it's very cool. I was going to say, the actual Dreadlord has a peg leg. And not any peg leg, a sword peg leg. <laughs> Pretty cool badass guy. But oh well, moving on swiftly. Always like Route Marcher, just to be able to get around a bit faster. And tr potentially First, chase after the AI, Jesus. which always likes to sometimes run away from me. Dreadlord, awaiting command. Hmm, I could get her in here, just get her in there, just to help. 
Um, get revenge. What lies Might do that. ahead? What? For glory. Now let's go and beat, nip this in the butt immediately. To the vengeful slaughter. Let's see. Charge bonus. And speed. Uh, hello. Well, actually, I could put on her because she has Seraphim. Oh my lord, actually, how much more is it? For 6%, so, and she has 105 speed, so... Yeah, just an additional 10? 16? Uh, I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> Oh, the, but the charge bonus though, oh, no, it's not actually that high on her. I do on her because she probably has a decent charge bonus. Nope, never mind. Definitely on uh, Mara for you with her. Uh, to be honest, I didn't give herself that yet. No, I didn't actually. <laughs> oh well. Definitely on the Medusas then. Or the Hydra to be precise. Magical resistance. I'm not anywhere though. Alright, let's move back then. And I was always gonna say, yep, yeah, that was a little attack. I did a tiny bit off of um, just a tiny little bit of work just because yeah, I would rather not just start this like halfway through the battle. Alright, and now they won't be braced because they'll be in the combat with the Hydra. That'd be good. And to charge you in as well. So that'd be a good old nice uh yeah, a Dark Elf Sandwich right there. And let's charge up a little bit. And let's fire over here. Try and do a lot of uh, damage. And yeah, the Dark Lord is also coming up too. Very nicely. I'm also going to plan precisely where I want to put my Life Leech. Because that will be very handy to put it in the right position at the right time. All right, now let's do an old flaming attack over here. That would do some great, serious, nice work. Let's put that right here. Feel my fury. Nice blue gun. Oh, that was a, such a satisfying sound from them as well. That screeching sound was very satisfying to hear from that life leech. So, so cool. Let's do a bit of shade. Right uh, here. Yeah, let's do all my answers over here. And their lord. And yeah, doing a nice good bit of work there. Then you come up. Do a quick roast over here. Before they run away. Thank you, please. Come on. Come on. Fine, over here. Please, can you at least do your dragon back once? Thank you. Nice. You want to do as many of them as possible. Yep, and let's slow down the Lord as well with our mitts by Miasma. It's not going to do much damage. Oh, she was all the way over there. Oops, didn't realize she went off, wandered off so far, but oh well. We are ready. Murder awaits. I don't even use them. <laughs> I had my uh, dark riders hidden in the forest all the time. They were just like, yep. <laughs> you know, when do we uh, going to get called into combat? <laughs> also, one funny thing I just realized as well is I know she also does have like black makeup. But also with the blood and uh, blood for the blood god um, DLC, the only blood that Murphy's got on her model so far. Oh wait, no, she has a lot on her face, but she also has some over her lips. She's been going around biting people. <laughs> I know you're sadistic, but okay. Didn't realize you're so quite kinky in that sort of way. Actually, what you? Why am I? Who am I kidding? Everyone knows dark elves are just kinky as hell. Let's decide to pick them. Not bad. You know, because only took a few hundred losses. Well, 190 something. <laughs> no, 180. No, I think it was actually 190. Not bad. And actually, not very many losses considering 
I left that little nice bait open on just my lord. So yeah, very nice. And then it's going to be awkward because I'm going to go right back to uh, disbanding my lord because it's too. I haven't got the income to be able to afford a second army with the way that it adds like an extra 50% upkeep for my entire other army as well. Observe me. Observe See, like, also the thing about this as well is, like, I could slaves. just take the money now. But if I take the slaves, if I take the Remember slaves, the I just get more money Marathi. in the long run, so... New toys. Yep. Delightful. I just... Let all tremble. Yeah, thanks for your services, but yeah, Dreadlord, we don't need you again. Uh, I love that little wordplay I just did then. <laughs> just had a moment where I was just like, my mother is like, everyone to the oars. Okay, you're all on your oars. No, we don't need the oars anymore. We're staying still. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> I'm so wicked. I'm making people run around for no pointless reason. <laughs> uh, but yes, I'm going to be calling this video here. Because, why not, I guess? I've had like four battles. We had a Chaos one, we had some go Goblin ones, and we had some High Elves. The High Elves have all been high killed and high butchered. And now the I'm going to be seeing the next episode anger. taking Amahem. And I'll be able to make a route, a successful uh, road route tree to the Bleak Hold Fortress. And I can start making uh, trade agreements with them. And hopefully that will give me some good income. And actually, hopefully, um, by the time that this has been upgraded, uploaded, and I'm recording more because I normally upgrade these to one to two weeks in advance, just because it makes it more a bit easier for me to edit and sort them out while I'm w dealing with work. Because um, I have long midnight work hours, so it's a bit awkward. But yeah, so I should have an actual proper working mouse where I'm able to actually scroll in and get all these nice shots. So we're just going to have to deal with this one and the high elf one this week just being a bit zoomed out and more tactical possibly. If you can really call it tactical in my point of view is I'm not the best tactician in the world and I will openly admit it. But Dread yes, presence. yes, yes, very good, good. Yet it's still getting minus um, public order but it's not as bad as it was once. It was like minus 10, 15 a turn, now it's only minus 2. I will happily take those numbers. And next to, uh, at some point, I'll be able to get myself the House of Pleasure and be able to get myself some more witches and also maybe get myself a death hag for another army. And I've, I've seen one army that someone's also made. Um, I might as well just say who it was. I saw Party Elite do one when he was playing as Marathi. And there was an actual Lord army which I might feel like trying to recreate. And he made a full range army. So we had um, a lot of Dark Shades, I'm thinking maybe Jewel Wilderness. And then he had a lot of Dark Riders with crossbow, repeated crossbows and uh, a few repeated bolt throwers. So a lot of range. So it aimed, basically I'm thinking his strategy was to deal with the enemy before they get close and personal. And then you have Death Shards, De then you have your um, Black Shards. With dual wielders, so if they do get caught in combat, they can the uh, deal. Sorcerous. Sorry, shades, not black, black shards. Why am I on about these guys? The dark shards, Bla uh, the shades with dual wielders. Or maybe I could always go for uh, black art corsairs with crossbows, but Cease their range isn't that high. Um, they are very effective for chasing down units because they can fire and move and fire because they have um, like a repeater, like hand, a, a small crossbow. So they can be able to move and fire with it. And I should, I should be able to get them as well, actually. Because, yeah, Blackout Corsairs with hand bows. So if I wanted to, I could go for them. But I think just repeat a bolt throwers, and then I can get some Shade Jewel Wheels. Because I don't need any special building tree for that. And if I really needed to as well, I could also put in a few with Grey Weapons as well. And then I can chuck in some uh, Hagen F Executioners in there. Or uh, maybe chuck in one or two um, Hydras, because they're kind of like a range unit as well. And they could send them into the flanks and roast their flanks, or take some maybe Cold One Dead Dread Knights later in the campaign, and stuff like that. So yeah, I, I have a feeling that, that that would be a really fun little unit to try and do. Um, it's going to say just absolutely obliterating light, obliterating units with uh, ranged, uh, overpowered, and overwhelming odds. That and also I'll just feel like um, Greek 
or Greece in I, I don't know if it's the Greek or yeah in 300 I'll find out who they are and I'll probably have it pop up in uh, in like a text of if I've foolishly mistaken my language and uh, didn't get it right I don't think it is Greek why would I think it's Greek um, but yeah so see you guys in the next video I hope you've enjoyed it all right, it's not as I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say it's not it probably was as good without being able to zoom in and get all close up and personal with the units. But ah, well, Pegasus can't be choosers. But when things like this happen, because it's either well, yeah, because it's either have a mouse that I can't move with my my actual mouse around with, but have a scrolling wheel, or actually have a mouse what can move around and scroll, not be able to scroll in and out. Roaring tide. What? Did I literally just have like Murafi saying like bored? <laughs> I'm bored or I'm fuming. <laughs> Fair play, alright, I'll end it here. I think she knows as well when I'm talking too much. <laughs> but yes, see you guys in the next video. Remember, stay classy guys and have a good old day to you. Bye!